All right, now this uh, uh, this part of the video here, this is actually the, the root pass on the six inch schedule 40 uh, uh, titanium here. The nice thing about the titanium is it's actually, uh, different guys ask me what it welds like and it's, 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 e it's easier than, than the stainless. It's, it's kind of like a weird metal, but it's, it's, it, it seems more forgiving and it, it doesn't, uh, you know, even, even about heat tint and protecting the uh, deposit uh, metal away from the atmosphere is easier uh, to weld the titanium than is the aluminum. Or sorry, sorry, not aluminum, but the, the, the stainless. But, uh, you know, it, it's kind of funny though because uh, a, lot, a lot of different guys, they, they, they uh, uh, you know, they, they'll, they may express interest in, in taking the course because you see we got, uh, I, I'm very, I live very, very close to the school the, the, the welder testing and training facility that, that teaches me these different metals and the place is uh, GRB College of Welding and you, you can find the website uh, grbwelding.com uh, just go under uh, 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 training and then you'll see the course titanium uh, uh, I can't remember the cost of it but uh, but, uh, but the thing is uh, a, lo a lot of welders they, they always ask me you know what what's the point like what what's the point of, of having titanium? Uh, it's it's not common. It's not a very common metal in Alberta. It's not common. Uh, there's 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 probably not much money in it. Uh, you know I couldn't imagine using it. Um, you know and a lot of guys you know uh, it's one of those things where they don't want to spend the money on it. Uh, they don't want to take the course. They don't want to learn how to do it. Um, and uh, you know because the guys are very concerned with. Uh, if, if I if I give uh, you know like I'll spend a little money I want to make a lot of money uh, so guys they don't want to uh, spend money any sort of money on training on testing uh, you know especially titanium they, they for, for a course that is uh, uh, three thousand dollars and or three three hundred whatever it is they don't want to spend the money uh, because it's they, they feel that they are getting return but the thing is is that with this titanium the thing with the titanium is it doesn't matter if you have the ticket or not that's that's not important what it is important is the 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 theory that's, that's the most important thing about this metal is that uh, this metal is a theory metal and what you get from the course even though yes you do get the titanium ticket provided that you pass the weld test that's irrelevant. The most important thing, and I tell this to different welders so they, they understand and realize that it's not, I'm not going for the titanium ticket. I'm going for the theory that I learn from welding this specific metal that I can apply to the other metals. You know, like uh, three things that I learned from this, uh, this titanium is uh, heat input, shielding gas, slash parts per million of oxygen. So I learned about uh, uh, how oxygen oxidizes the metal and the amount of parts per million of oxygen there is, and what, uh, what kind of oxide formation, uh, how thick the oxide layer is. I, I learned about uh, oxidizing the metal, you know, and I can apply that to the other metals. And then uh, 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 cleanliness and uh, oxide removal. So I learned how to clean the metal so I can have success because see what you're seeing right now, uh, there's no heat tint. There's it's all nice, glossy, shiny. There's even a silver band there. Uh, um, but you see, it's it's very glossy. It's very shiny. There's no heat tint. There's maybe minimal, minimal, minuscule amount. But the thing is, is that you you get these, you get this theory, this theory you get from taking the course. That's I, I tell you guys this. this that's it doesn't matter if you have the titanium ticket or not, it's the theory that you need that's, that's very important that you apply to the other metals. And uh, aluminum, for example, uh, certain websites will say the aluminum, the oxide melts at 3700 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a book downstairs, it's a welding supervisor course for uh, some company in the States. They say 3600 degrees Fahrenheit is what the uh, aluminum oxide melts at. But that's the thing that you take from the titanium course, you learn about oxides and you now, okay, well there's oxides on titanium 
and then you compare that to the oxides on aluminum and uh, you know okay well both both metals have have oxides well so does nickel alloys have oxides and, and stainless and duplex and various different metals have, have these oxides uh, forming that uh, you see this is all things that you learn from the titanium you take the titanium course at GRB and this is what you learn and this is what you apply to different other metals the stainless chrome uh, nickel alloys very well, various fancy stainlesses duplexes uh, zirconium you you know you apply this this knowledge you get from that course to other metals so hopefully somebody is watching this video and realize that okay yes I, I, I could I could have the titanium ticket but uh, if I go in and take that course I will learn uh, theory and I'll, I will be able to apply that theory from that course to other metals so it, it'll actually make me a better welder uh, taking that course which for me when I took the course I took the course in February of 2013 and I got the ticket, and uh, and I've I've renewed it I've renewed it three times now, and every time I renew the ticket, the welding gets better and better, uh, and I just renewed it this last time, and it took me about four hours, four and a half hours, whatever. But you see, I'm I I came in with the trailing shield, and uh, I I welded uh, just a quarter of the pipe at a time, but it's a very long it's a very long tedious very patient very long weld it's very, it takes a long time to weld and the reason why it takes I, I say four hours four and a half hours uh, I say it, it, it took me that long because it's not the welding like the welding is very quick you could you could do a, a carbon you could do a stainless weld very very quickly you could throw the root pass in there the hot pass fill pass cap hash it's done you walk out there and, and very very quick uh, you could do the same with titanium, uh, but the titanium will be all blue and purple and it'll just uh, white and just be all wrecked. But the thing with the titanium is that where it takes so long is that uh, it has interpass temperature and you have to cool the, met the metal, you have to protect it away from the atmosphere, you have to clean it. Uh, it's very, very tedious and meticulous. It's, uh, you know, so that's... Um, you know, so it, it takes a very long time. It's a metal that you have to be extremely, extremely patient for, and it's one of those metals that that uh, you see. There's a lot of there's a lot of welders. But uh, uh, before I got my my TIG tickets, I used to think that the TIG welders guys, anybody who had a TIG ticket, was a god. I used to think that, and then I got my TIG tickets, and uh, I, I a lot of welders had their TIG tickets, but they weren't very uh, uh, very. Um, very good, I, I guess. Uh, 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 you know, very uh, poor uh, welding ability and uh, very poor quality. And so I realized that you know, having a tick ticket, you know, even guys uh, who weren't very good had had these tickets. And you could you could uh, uh, even uh, nickel alloys. You could you could pass X-rays not cleaning the metal. You know the metal is very the puddle is very dirty has oxide floating it's very dirty and contaminated looking you can still pass the welds pass x-rays pass everything you just brush the metal but the thing with titanium is that it's, it's you, you 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 can't you can't be uh you know you, you you can't be a terrible welder and weld this metal because it, it, it for sure will show even the aluminum, the aluminum, uh, you know, the aluminum is, is another metal uh, because you see the aluminum has an oxide that melts at 36, 3700 degrees Fahrenheit. The metal underneath, the clean metal, when the oxide is removed, melts at about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it's about 660 degrees Celsius, whatever it is. Can't remember the conversion, but uh, you see, if if you're kind of a a, a very sloppy um, very poor welder, uh, uh, you know, very poor uh, welding technique, or just very sloppy in general. Uh, you know, 
uh, if you weld over the oxide, you'll for sure have, have you know, porosity, lack of fusion. Uh, you'll, you'll have these uh, certain things showing up in, in the weld, especially on x-ray. And even if you do a bend test, your, your coupons will just snap in half like a twig uh, because you're, you're not, you're, because you're very sloppy and you're not welding the, the, the metal how it should be welded. Now I'm actually showing, uh, I'm just showing uh, 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 just an up close. Now you can see, you can, you can tell where the trailing shield, where I started and stopped. You see I have a little bit of heat tint around the start there. I'm just showing how, how, how glossy the metal is. Um, this is one of those things where, where I kind of believe, like, like if you go on uh, 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 Lincoln's website, I always feel that, you know, what they could do if they wanted to sell more welding machines is they, they could show they could do a weld with that specific welding machine and they could show the weld and it maybe has little, like the old SA200s, you, you see welds that are done with those old machines and it, they look very antique, they look very old, vintage, they look very vintage weld welds. Uh, the, the ripple definition is very, it's very different. It's, it looks very different than a modern weld, like, like, a, like a machine uh, like, like for example, if I welded, if I did a roll weld with with a, 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 a Lincoln Vantage or a Lincoln Ranger, like an inverter, and I compared it to uh, an SA200 generator or SA400, you know, if I if I w did uh, one weld after another, they'd be two completely different contrasting welds. But I feel that if if you show uh, a, a weld done by a certain machine. Then, then guys will be like, hey, you know, I want my welds to look like that. So I'm going to buy that machine because I want my welds to look like how that machine is doing these welds. So I kind of feel like, you know, if, like even training facilities, if, if training facilities have coupons, you know, if I walk in there, I say, say for example, say I don't have a titanium ticket or say I don't have a stainless ticket, I go in there, I see this, this stainless ticket. Or I, or sorry, I, I, I see this stainless coupon, or I see this aluminum, this coupon of aluminum, or or this titanium weld, and suddenly, hey, you know, uh, this this looks this looks like something I want to be able to weld. I I'm, this this looks like a very interesting metal. You know, I want to be able to weld this stuff, and uh, you know, because it's right in front of my face, I can see it. I can, hey, you know, I believe I can, I I believe I I, I can go and do this. You know, so 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 I I believe that's one way to get welders to go and get more tickets is that you can say hey this is how you, this is a, an example this is a glimpse of how to do these welds uh, these are just uh, this is what the welds will come out and there's going to be obsessive obsessive or obsessive compulsive welders uh, who are going to be watching these videos they're, they're going to look at these this titanium and be like you know I, I, the, the, I like that how that metal's formed I want my welds to look like that so I'm going to inquire about where I can get uh, testing and where I can get training for this specific metal. I can guarantee that at least somebody is going to watch this video and say, I, I want to weld that metal. And they're going to go, uh, well, we got GRB College of Welding in Empton here. Just go to grbwelding.com and, and you can take the course on this metal. It's just a titanium course, 40 hour. And I can guarantee that uh, Thursday, when Thursday comes, you see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you'll be practicing on titanium. I can guarantee Thursday, uh, you'll you'll ha you'll you'll know exactly what to do, and you'll be, you'll have the skill set to to weld, do the weld test, and I can guarantee that you'll walk out of there out of there with the titanium ticket in hand and with the knowledge that you can use and apply to the other metals. And even if you go to Huntingdon Fusion and buy the same trailing shield that I bought, I bought a two inch, four inch, six inch. They're about five hundred and fifteen dollars each. But you can get a two inch, three inch, four inch. You can get a whole bunch of different sizes, different configurations. I can guarantee that if you use that trailing shield, you buy this this pipe. You can get this pipe from Titanium.com. I always deal with a Montreal distributor, and uh, and uh, you know, a very good guy. I think the guy's name is Steve. He's very nice. Uh, he actually used to run a Titanium shop, and I was actually trying to uh, see if uh, if they do uh, training down there or anything. You know, if I ever went on vacation or something. You know, this is where I want to go. I want to travel to these different places. I want to go to these training facilities and take training at these at these these different places, just just so I could get to see how different different uh, places weld and and 
you know, maybe, maybe I could pick up different techniques or something or see how, how different different welders weld these metals. But uh, you see, you know, you could, uh, so for, for training, testing, anything to do with titanium knowledge, anything, grbwelding.com. Uh, you want to buy this metal, this titanium, go to titanium.com uh, for, for the trailing shields and the purge monitors, purge I-100, 300 free fall, 300 nano, go to Huntingdon Fusion, um, you can buy the trailing shields and I also recommend, I'm not using it, you don't see in the video here, but I'm using a, a reciprocating saw for all the starts and stops, cutting out the tacks, so I'm using a reciprocating saw and uh, I'm using a rigid, rigid brand it's very lightweight, but uh, I also recommend picking up uh, a, recipro a reciprocating saw uh, for all starts and stops here. And, uh, and uh, you know, because you're not going to use a grinder on this. That's, that's one of the things you're going to learn in, this, in the course. Is you're not going to use a grinder on this. It'll overheat the material. And you'll learn pretty quickly about uh, hardening material and also uh, creating oxides and friction from heat. You'll learn quite a lot of that stuff. But this would uh, recap the video here. Uh, these are just uh, well, well. This is would be the titanium. But uh, yeah, so this guy just the uh, two inch and uh, and uh, six inch titanium. And uh, yeah, and I just renewed the tickets, uh, the titanium, and I renewed my aluminum on the 28th of December. And and um, just go to at fieldrevs2 or just go to instagram.com slash fieldrevs2 and that's my Instagram page.